This is Marky from Ladybug Lane Soaps, and thank you so much for joining me. All right, here are my safety glasses. So I hope everybody is having a good day. Alrighty, so I have been filling, and actually I just got done putting the labels on a very special order for a friend of mine from high school. She is a cancer survivor, um, and I believe other females in her family have survived breast cancer. So this is the second year that I am making a whole bunch of soap this year for her and the other walkers. Uh, I think there's like about 100 in their whole team, and I think maybe about 64 are walking this year it's like three days I think they walk like a total of 30 miles a day or something so this year I told her that I would make thir um, let's see uh, you know full-size bars and then cut them in half and so this this is just one of the mint ones and hopefully it will zoom in here maybe I can so the saying that she picked out was let's wash out cancer for good and so i was using you know some of that uh oh, what do you call it um scrapbook paper and i really liked these colors and here's just a little a little extra strip there so if i can zoom in it looks like it was kind of you know, done in watercolors originally. So I really, I really liked, uh, you know, these, these colors in general. So I think what I'm going to try to do, let me move these guys out of the way so I don't get them all, all schmucked, is I'm going to use um, a little bit of some purple here and mix in some uh, pink and grape. Uh, some teal, some kind of uh, light green, and a couple of different oranges there, and then uh, whatever is left left in the for the base, I'll use that. So I'm going to be having six, yeah, six different containers, and so if for the fragrance oil, it is brambleberries, lavender here. Is it going to zoom in? Hopefully. There we go. And that is... Do we have enough light there? I hope we do. It's kind of it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And hopefully we have enough light. Alrighty. So I think what I'm going to try to do is just try to keep the batter very, very fluid. This is my... I use the 2 to 1 water to live ratio and you know what I need my I need my stool hold on just a second where we go I seriously need to get a a uh, flatter container for this alrighty so I think I'm just crossing my fingers because I'm pretty sure that this lavender which I've used many times before cooperates and I did not do a uh, you know water discount less than less than the two to one because I just need everything to be nice and fluid so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and hopefully the design um, will kind of sort of look like this you know I mean I'll have to be doing the the um, stripes going back and forth here so they won't necessarily be in little pieces but you know what we're gonna go with the flow aren't we and we're just gonna <laughs> we me and my little mouse in my pocket okay are we good to go all right let's get going here
see how this goes. Um, I just kind of put these colors in kind of a sequence that I think might work um, as they're going in the mold, but, but this is very, very fluid. Oh, and I just, um, yeah, so let me just tell you something. Uh, I have time because this is like, I mean, this is really, really fluid. So I went on to the, um, who was it? Uh, Nurture Soap when I was looking at their orange micas. And I did not know this, but um, but with my other bar soap that I just made that I have not put the video up on it, uh, it was the one using the uh, kumquat fragrance from Nature's Garden. And I thought I had used enough of the orange mica, but it turned kind of a pale orange. And so they said, when using orange micas to soap cool, and this was just a hair above 80, uh, and, they, and then they say, don't force gel because the heat seems to have a negative effect on the orange, you know, making it fade or peach color, and to use a higher amount of mica. So I sure did, and as you can tell, that's, that's pretty orange looking, so we shall see. And they said, you know, use two teaspoons instead of one per pound of oil. So we shall see. Alrighty, let's get let's get pouring this. Let's just see what it's gonna do. I'm not quite sure about this design, but let's just that didn't look all the way down, but let's just let's just have some fun here. Well, there she is. So you know what? That fragrance oil really behaved nice, as you could see. I mean, I just, uh, I just took my time. And I think the only one that was maybe just thickening up just a little bit, but I don't want to say it was really 
thickening up more than the others, but it, it I mean, everything just behaved so well. And, um, yeah, let me get the air bubbles out. There we go. A little bit, bit of a mess that I made, but you know what? That's all part of soaping. So, oh gosh, well, you know what? I'm happy with that. Look at that. Um, I think I will just leave the, leave the top as is. And I sure hope that the colors inside will, you know, turn out all nice. So, anyway, all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll probably be cutting this in a couple of days. So, everybody, I'll, yeah, I'll see you at the cut. All right, bye-bye.